Hey there, everyone, the Sao Cow playing Root Berry Mario. And last time we went here, it was completely an ass shape. I'm guessing the six star is gonna create a star as it is one to do. But we're back on a mainland and timing is key. Timing level, fireball above us. Here's a look at that flaming person. What's, is it a person? It's the fire. Timing is key! Gotta time your jumps. Gotta land on the little thing. Did a bad. Timing is key! Whoops! See, they say timing is key, but what killed me there is pressing the side too much. That's not timing. That's just, that's just bad. You, you don't fuse the two. One day the fire will disappear, then you could do a mighty leap, but it's like, whoa. Look at these bounces though. Oh shoot, you came back. Last time you stayed behind. I didn't think you just, whoops, you just changed like that. I don't know why I thought I could get all the way to the turtle that way. That doesn't make any sense. This looks like one of those days where I'm just not playing very good. Like those happen. We're like, I don't know, man, my sense of everything is kind of weird. No, I want you to do something that's different. All right, I'm glad we've met together at last. All right, so I want to see, it says timing is key, but I feel like rushing is key here. It's just go. Just don't wait after anything and just go. Is that timing? Do they mean that form of timing? Uh-oh. Oh, good. Here, I'm gonna time myself with a red turtle. Yeah, that's right. I didn't even do it well. Uh, okay. Everyone's just kind of flying, you know, having fun. Comparing licorice flavors, as you do. Uh, I'm not sure how there it's gonna work out. Ugh. Okay, well, like that, I guess. Ooh, -ho. um, all right, <laughs> big jump, tiny jump, panic jump, uh, uh, e oh, so it was like a very aggressive donkey there with the sounds I made, right, a little bit, just a little, bit, just enough, whoops, there I didn't play very well, as you do, uh, oh, what, okay, so you do need kind of a a significant amount of a little bit of step before you jump. Ah, look how well now the turtles are placed. Oh, what? But look how badly I handled this. What? Yeah, I can't play this game. And you end up here where everything is placed pretty well. And then the jump just gets eaten by the hill sometime. It's pretty good. Double back. Now make sure all the fire is gone. So you can do a big jump here. I've been here like once, so you know I'm. Yay! Okay. Jeez, I feel like I should have gone here a while ago, but I didn't. Now I'm here again. Did it? Oh, jeez. Well, I got fire. I lost fire. <laughs> Accurate. Oh, uh, well, okay. You were supposed to wait. See, is it timing? Is that timing? Ooh, double sprite glitch. That's a fun one. A classic. I don't know what this level is doing. <laughs> it's not bad, it's just weird. All right, so you get here. The whole family's here. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about it. Here, you gotta wait for that guy to that guy. All right, then we're here. Bounce on a flame. Get under the turtle. D 
do something. All right, well, I did. One tile, diagonal, spiny, original. Whoosh! Magical. See, I don't know. What, 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 what? What, what? Okay, just over all of that. Then you gotta get here. You have to land. Ugh, okay. Yeah, over me. Here we go. Timing is key! Ugh, okay. Sure. Hey! Aw, is this the money? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, we're at the end of the level. Like, it wouldn't make sense to... Well, I mean, you could still give a better prior. Timing! I never felt like timing was key. I don't know. Maybe I'm just misreading the level. I feel like being just generally aggressive is the way you make it through. Hey, a castle just appeared, though. Rearrange some of the three, huh? Gonna rearrange your face! The three looks different. Oh yeah, look at that. It was Mario 3. Well, they're elements from Mario 3, like the Roto Disc, the Dry Bone, the Mill Stake. It's all here. Potabo, Spikes, the guy with red shoes. But see, it's not like. It's just. Yeah, first of all, no, the background's from Mario 1 All Star. So, uh. Okay, you, you got it there. I think it's Mario 1. No, it doesn't have the Bowser statue faces, so it is Mario 3. Am I safe here? I sure am. Why? Don't know. Well, I got bopped in the face, and I got a replacement. Ah, my favorite power up from Mario 3 to K. You can play up here and find a magic whistle. Uh, welcome to Warp Zone. Oh, there's a secret exit here, by the way. I I didn't know that. I just it reminded me of the Fortress in Mario 3, you know? Oh, that's, that's a fun name. It reminded me of Fortress 1, of World 1. You know, you, you, ta you take the... the Raccoon Tail Challenge, and you just fly up and over, and you get a whistle. I guess I got kind of an equivalent to a whistle in, in, the, in, the, in the shortcut. I don't know if it's a shortcut, an alternate level, or what. Like. The game has been mostly kind of straightforward, so with this just like odd little secret exit there, like I don't know how to end to prove that necessarily. Once again, proving that a cape makes everything much easier. Oh. Prove that by losing it immediately. Hey, a double cape though. Barely punished. Here we go. Inside the door. Oh my gosh, it's World 2 now. Oh, are we gonna have like... Oh, whoops! Okay, so... Two fireballs. Oh, jeez, I'm... Making all the right decisions here. Alright, Fireball Ned. You're now Fireball Dan. Yeah, it's World 2. It's the desert world. You may have heard about it when they talk about deserts. This just... Okay, finally you change your mind. Spreading your flames everywhere. That guy's got socks, though. Sock percent. Alright, here we go. Do some jump. Destroy the world. Is there anything up there? Like, why is that block structure even there to start with? I don't know, man. Don't worry about it, I guess. Maybe there's like an invisible something? I'm not exploring very hard. I should've just went. I should've just went. I... I'm went! I am! So, if we're gonna do... Oh, that is a weird leap. Also, you're gone already. No! Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and give me a space-time hole at every transition, because... I can read the room. There's gonna be eight little levels all in a row. I'm gonna play them all. But... We're gonna cheat in the hole. Whoa, I was holding up there, I'm pretty sure. Huh? Right, we're just gonna... Oh, we're not gonna take a hit here, we're actually gonna do it. Alright. And yeah, like I promised, it's just... Hey, we go by the midpoint in, in, in the vacuum of space, then we move on. 
It's like a marathon level? Sure. I've played those. They can work. Marathon level where the third part has an insta-kill enemy that just kind of comes out? Hmm. Like, I understand why that's how you chose to represent World 3. It is an iconic depiction of World 3. But, like, you have to think about the level as a whole, though. Like, you know, like, ah. Anyways, here's that guy He's going around. He jumps weird. It is not the boss bass I am used to seeing. Like, you know, boss bass, a veteran of the ROM hack school of employment. But, uh, this one is unique. Look at that mighty, weird, drifty leap it does. It's pretty impressive. Whoa. Also, that turtle was in the water, which, I mean, is not weird. Turtles love water, I'm pretty sure. But, you know. Uh, okay, so, uh, this is awkward. Will you jump back down? This boss bass, too, is like, is, yeah, okay, and that's solid? It looks semi-solid to me. Let's try again. Okay, so see, the game expects you to possibly still have cape and just destroy some walls. Do some reconstruction a little bit. Or, I guess, trail around that shell, but no one's gonna do that, I don't think. Look at that leap, though. I kind of love its weird leap. So, okay, I think that the game is made... In a way where <laughs> that double pipe is pretty good, <laughs> is made where they do expect you. Like, like I think this is. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I like this part. Oh shoot! It looks like honestly these massive gray blocks are awesome. No, I think it's. Uh, I don't know. I just don't have the patience for. Marathon shenanigans, but the sections are what? Yeah, right. Okay, sure. It's just it's just a bit too janky, I think. But it's the it's the insta death. I'm gonna put boss bass here. That kind of I don't know, man. Some kind of warning signal started bellowing in my mind. I was like, oh, okay, no, I'm I'm afraid. I'm petrified. I did a spin jump when a normal jump. Well, okay, I'm not punished. Uh, here we got dual natured pipes and we just gotta go. This was significant. Oh, wait a second. While we're in Sky World, still no middle of the point kind. This is getting strange. All right, well, I'm bouncing on this tower. See, this is obviously a callback to the tower, the spire in Mario 3, I think. Except it's like fully original too. Oh, I dig what they're doing. You know, it's the themes, but they're not borrowing. Like, it's not just copy and paste. Bread jump. Yeah, I don't know how I would have. Okay, you can just stop and time it if you're small. I was just being impatient. I'm something I figured I'd try? It's probably a bad idea. Alright, you stay there and think about ravioli. <laughs> Our favorite sport. Alright, check it out. Whoosh. That's right. I dodged that slow-moving chariot. Oh, geez. Lots of munchers here. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, I messed that one up. Uh, I'm stuck. I unstuck. Uh, and now I'm here. See? Now I'm, now I'm small here. In Ice World, the stars are present. And that is an aggressive maverick. Wow. Alright. See this? The place. It's place world. All right, thank you. You're gonna be here so I can do that. Uh, all right, I want you to go so I can go here. It's gonna be a lot easier on the return trip. Swimp is here, playing for you. First member of the Rocky crew. It's not crew, it's probably Swamp. All right, so yeah, he's there, he's there. Whoa, check it out. I have a very solid beard. And I'm like, yeah, acknowledged. Whoosh! There we go. Now we are in Pipe World. It's the world of pipes. Unlike every other world where pipes don't exist, apparently, is what we're implying. Yeah, 
fire. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I mean, no, it's dealt harder in this game. Whoosh. There we go. Uh, uh, yeah. Bitey is... Bideys are ready to rumble. I'm assuming it's a that kind of red step. The plant got up. I'm assuming they are red stems as red stems and not just as a bad palette. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, so here. Where did I die? Whoa. Yeah, no, my timing was super bad. Whoa, whoa, wham. Well. I would recognize this. All right, okay. Well, there you go. That's Pipe World. Oh, the music is aggressive. Oh, yeah. Fa favorite thing in Dark World are the para beetles. Yeah, this is like all the customs. Whoop and I. Well, that was. Imagine having to restart a whole marathon because of that mistake. Yeah, so I think my, my call right now is would I be able to be this level legit? I think the answer is yet, yes, but uh, do I want to? I think the answer is no, unfortunately. <laughs> this is more fun this way, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. When you remove the necessity of worrying, things sometimes get a lot more fun. Is this just me? Or does the author of this level does know to put generators in cannons? And so the cannons never actually fire and it's just a pre-placed bullet that will fire once? Because Diagonal Man here is working normally. But I haven't seen a single cannon actually cannon. Like what's up with that? <laughs> I guess don't worry about it. I'm not. Hey, I managed to put my thoughts in this winning run. That's good. And where does this go? Like, okay, so that's gonna lead to the end of World 5. Yeah, see, World 6 is here, and it's gonna be Plains Land, Island Land, Plain and Islands. So this is gonna, maybe it's gonna go in the middle? We're just gonna switch? I don't know. We'll find out next time, I think, probably.